So let's talk about dynamic subdivisions and creasing. We added a few extra buttons here on the left, as you can see in the top left corner, being that we already talked about the temporary polygroup. But under that, we've packed our dynamic subdivisions here and our creasing menu here. And then we have some settings, including like how the welding tolerance is, how much does Z modeler look at the distance between certain areas for selection. Now, looking at this dynamic subdivision, if I press dynamic, it's going to start rounding out the shape. Now, it is important to note that this is just a preview. It's not actually subdividing the mesh. As you can see, these yellow dots over here, those are the actual geometry. If I just pull that up again and then turn it off, you can see the position of that point does not change over there. It's just previewing how many smooth subdivisions. If I had like, for example, six smooth subdivisions, this would be how the model would look like if I had six smooth subdivisions. I can add flat subdivisions. And this is in essence the same thing as going under geometry and either dividing with the smooth button on or off. Looking at this dynamic subdivision mode, you can see it's rounding out everything and that might not be what you want. So in this case, we have some polygroups over here. And obviously this has a lot of different polygroups, but for our example, this works. So we have six smooth subdivisions. And if we go to creasing, we can start creasing by angle. So we have a tolerance here. We can set the angle of that creasing and then just click crease. But now it doesn't include those edges over there because they're just not at that same angle because we had beveled them before. So what we can do is we can crease PG and now it's going to crease every polygroup border that you have. And if you want to be minute about this, we can actually crease manually using our edge actions on Z modeler. So if you go to crease edge loop partial and just tap this, you can see it update in real time. Now, you might argue that this is too sharp. If you want to look hard surface, you can't really make it look this sharp. Otherwise, it's, it screams CG. To change that, we can change this crease level. And it's going to change in real time the amount of creasing you're getting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.